Okay, I got this all apart. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. So, I know I need more coil bind clearance to run these springs over here. I gotta pick up another 25 more coil bind, or 20,000 more coil bind than this spring here. And I could probably even find even less than this one somewhere if I hunt around, if I go through all the springs. So I gotta see what I can come up with. Oh, yeah, it's hard. Okay. I know I gotta uh, gain a bunch of exhaust and not much intake. I gotta gain about 20 on the intake and I gotta gain 50 on the exhaust clearance. So, how am I gonna gain it? That's the next question. You know, the easiest way to gain a bunch is, this, is the collar. The intake, I can go ahead and shorten up the uh, guide here a little bit. Right here, whoop, right down here. I can gain what I need. Um, the other one, I'm going to have to probably run a step collar. I need like 50 thousands. Now the other problem is the valve to valve clearance issue. Uh, I want to see what the valve looks like over here. So if I make the valve a little bit smaller diameter here, and sink it in the head a little bit right here, probably gain a lot of what I need. I'm going to gain the clearance that I need a little bit, but I don't want to go down too much deeper. So there's a little bit to be had there, so i got to play with that and see what I think I can gain. There isn't a lot to be had in there, but there's a little bit. I'm not sure how much I can shrink it. So, combination of that. Now doing a valve job, I'm going to gain on both a little bit. So that'll help me gain on both of these a little. You see how I have the seat right up on the edge of the valve there. If I regrind the valves, I'll gain a little bit. So everything I do, I'm going to gain a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. It all adds up. So it's just a matter of how much I'm going to gain on that. Uh, I didn't check the other head, but I'm assuming they're relatively close. This one's got stuck valve guide in it, which we need to deal with. These valve clearance are a little bit on the tight side for, for racing. Yeah, we're only doing a little drag racing right now, but still. I like them a little bit looser. And then we got to open up the ports a little bit too. At least on the intake. The exhaust, I don't want to. I want to shrink the exhaust a little bit. Definitely room to be doing something over there. All right, Oof. it's a horrible valve for it. You got a big lip in there. Oops, where's your camera at? Big lip right in there. It's hard to see, but it's in there. There's definitely some work to be done on these things. Now if I put a bigger valve in there, it just makes our clearances even worse. You got to sink the valves, you lose compression. So the gain you gain for better flow, you lose because of compression loss. So you're going the wrong direction, basically. All right, so all of this stuff's got to get worked on. So let's go uh, see what we can get out of this. Uh, first thing I do is measure my valves. That was the one that came out of there, wasn't it? I want to see where my coil bind number is at. Or installed height, I guess you call it. We measured the intake. I mean, the, we measured the front head, so I want to see if the front rear semi close to each other. So we go right down here and we measure that. Now this one here, when it was rebuilt, there's washers under here, gaskets. If I didn't have that stupid gasket in there, I would have gained a bunch. But I don't want to pull the guide out, so. Okay, this is 365. Right, about 395. This one's 
three ninety, a little worse. This one's three ninety, so this one's exhaust has sunk a lot more. Yeah, so this exhaust is a lot deeper than the one on this head. Yeah, you can see it too. See how this is more or less flush in here? This one here, you can see how it's sunk in there a little bit. It's instead of a bowl. So this valve is sunk down. So if I make this one the same, what will help us? Now this is the one that I measured. We had very, very low clearance. This one, remember it was hitting? Because I didn't measure this head, I measured this one. And this one's got a sunk valve by about 40 thousandths. So that's why this one cleared and this one's hitting. The heads are not equal. They're close, but not equal. And we're pushing the numbers as close as we are. That makes a difference. Okay, so. We got the numbers. We got to go work. So the first thing I do is go over the head machine. Drop off these heads. Got some valve cutting to do. All kinds of work to do. I'm going to go over here. Got another workbench over here. Okay. First thing I do is work on the valves. Okay, we're going to go hone the stems. This one here, you can see where it's galled up. It'll get rid of that. It'll also get rid of the carbon, most of it, and in the high spot on a couple up here from the keeper groove. It'll get rid of that too when I hone them. So, another honing oil. I'll go over here and do a valve job. Uh, so, even though everything is relatively fresh, it's not what we need, so I have to redo it. Turn the valve down. I'm not sure how much I can do. Ew. Grease everywhere. It's going to make a mess on my lathe. Alright. Oh, yeah, we got a nice crappy one in there. Perfect for this job. Nice and negative insert angle. So you look at your tangent line or your scale. See how it's sitting straight up and down? That means you got the cutter right on dead center. Now if you run a little bit lower, it's negative angle. If you run a little bit higher, it's positive angle. Valves are really hard, so you want a little negative, but that's close enough. Okay, we need to run this slow, keep chatter down, and try to make the cut better. Put this thing in low gear. Measure our valve diameter here. So we're at 751. I'll blow that down a little bit. We'll figure out how much here in a minute. See how much it cuts.
little bit thinner now. Just cut down the wider over here now. Just cut down thinner. Theoretically, I can grind it down from this side here quite a bit, which will gain me clearance on the other side without sinking it ahead. Both ways raise the compression, or lower the compression, I mean, by lowering it down. Just two different things you're doing. Like I said, everything matters. Every little cut. Okay, we're at 720 right now. So we cut 30 off. I'm not sure where, how, thin, how thin I can get it down. Gain our clearances. So I'm not sure what I can gain on the head side of it. I like getting it down like that though. These valves are way too big for what you need. ahead and see what we got over here. Now it's going to matter on the rear head because that's the one that's already sunk. The intake we can sink it down and see if we can make it come in. So no matter how much in here we got to work with. I'm not seeing much to work with in there. Take a pair of dividers and stick them here in your valve. To what your minimum inside diameter is. You can transpose that to what you want to go to. Probably about that much. So what's that leave us for a valve? It still gives us quite a bit of a seat. It's about what the inside of the valve's cut out right now. I think we've got some room to work there. I know for a fact that's going to give us extra clearance. And I also put a little bit of a chamfer on the edge there, which will give us a little bit of clearance also right in there. Uh, let's see. I want to go more in 30. It doesn't look like it made much of a difference in size, but put it together. It's a little bit right there. I really want to cut 50 off, but I don't think I got enough material to do that. Yeah, let's see what that did for me. See, this is the front head. I'm not even on the right head. No, this is the head. There it is. Dumbass. Can't put an exhaust valve in an intake hole. Doesn't measure anything. There it goes. Burrs. Okay, I'm gonna do a measurement again. We want a two seventy five. Let's see, it's just under four, just under two. Under that is 50, somewhere about in there is 75. This side was 235, and 50 should get us close. 
stop there. See how close we are still. Pretty marginal. We definitely gained a little, but we're right on it. That intake needs to go down 20 fouls, what needs to happen. That'll make all the difference in the world. All right, so that's helping slightly. You can't just cut the valve, it's so thin. You can't chamfer it or anything left. Okay. The 30 is definitely going to help us. Be nice to go a little bit more, but I'm not seeing it. Okay, I'm going to cut the other one the same amount and then come back and do some valve work. It's already dulled out a little bit. Thirty-three. Go down this one twenty. Twenty-four. Seven thousand more to go. Let me crank it over here. Get another seven. Seven twenty, not seven thirty. Seven twenty seven. Is that twenty one? It's twenty one. All right. 
do a chamfer cut, so can't do that with one hand. The other valve and do the same thing. And cut it down to five thousand. That's the other one. Seven seventeen. Yeah, close enough. What's the other one out? Seven twenty. Yeah, I missed a bunch of I can live with that. And I gotta sand it off a little bit to get the burrs off of it. Paper over here might actually have some edge to it. Spin it a little bit faster now. They got that in a Harley catalog. Got to do that, right? And we're gonna hold this down. External home. If you watch the videos, I've used this before. This has got the bad stem on it. So reset. Bad spot right there.
see how when you rotate it, it goes shiny and dull. Shiny is the highest spot we just cut. So this whole area here, you can see the gall mark in there. It's all low spot now. We took off the high spot that was causing a problem. Looks like the valve's bent too for some reason. Might be. The valve stick to get hit. Might be tweaked. Straighten the valve machine. Not bouncing so much like the other one was. Pretty good tweak in this one on that. I think this is all bad. A little extra work on that one. Usually when you find a valve that's been stuck a little bit, it's been nailed too. hit by the valve next to it. That's the rear one. A few tweak valves. Probably for the wall a little bit but not, not much of those. Two bent valves. We'll find out. Next stop, valve grinder. This would be hard for you to see anything. But I'll see it. Exhaust and the intake on the bad cylinder. That's the front one. Let's see the other front. This is the rear one. Yep. These two here, I think, are the ones that are tweaked slightly. Then I straighten most of it already by cutting it. Doesn't look like it's wobbling very much. It's got a little wobble to it, but not too bad. So, 
episode. We want to make it worse by beating on it with a hammer. Or just run it the way it is and see it's good enough. I always like beating out stuff with a hammer. Though. It's more fun. I use one of these. It's no fun if you can't beat on something. Bouncing around, find the high spot and hit it. Three. Oh, didn't move that time. We had to find how much pressure it takes to make it move. on it, but yeah, I might do that. Okay. 180 degrees straight away. Oh, it's not even close to being straight. See, that's not a good sign. Do it like that. That means you probably screwed it up. I probably screwed it up by doing anything to it. Wherever you put it, it gets bad. Yeah, I probably didn't help anybody by doing that. Oh well. That's what happens you trying to make it better. You want time to screw it all up. Straight right there. Just gonna hold you. See if I induced any errors in there that matter. You have to feel it pulsing through here, which means it's which we're tweaking that. But we already knew that was the high spot down there anyway. how bad we made it. Uh, luckily we got a lot of material to grind out so we made it too bad. Couldn't have killed it too much. Just a little bit. Alright, let's see what we got here this time. Yep, we got it. Well, then I'll let it go. Yeah, it's a lot worse than it was. We did not help it any. Yep. Oh, well. Damage is done. I'm gonna run it. It runs right in though, so we're gonna keep that off on the seat area.
hard to get good help. Here's what it looks like now. See what this one looks like. This is one I did not beat on. So we'll see how bad it is. Wait a minute, I should see what I'm doing. Oh. Gonna put it back to 45 degree would help. straight and it repeated I can't see it either just grind it I think you got enough grind it some more <laughs> Never know. So there's a multiple value angles in there. I don't know if the camera's focusing or not. Hopefully it is. Okay, I'm gonna do the intake. Recenter it, see if it's me or the valve. Same spot. This valve ain't even close. We're not chucking up evenly or it's bent. See where I'm grinding. I think I ground enough. I didn't ground too much. Oh yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit on the thin side there. I ground too much. You just probably can't see what you're doing. Yeah. 
graffiti. Not a good sign. right up on the edge. You know how narrow the seat is. Race valve. Now you cut too much it becomes a race valve. It's a race bike so it's okay. different. Okay. Take a little extra. We need it. Back up. This time we'll cut so much. Better stop there. Don't want to cut too much. Be a bad thing. Let's see how time we're halfway down. And my finish is pretty rough too. Jeez. Probably should address my stone. Oh well. I'm gonna clean this off. We'll be back. <laughs> 